Nikki Haley, who once hesitated to directly criticize her chief rival, is questioning former President Donald Trump's mental fitness after this moment in New Hampshire. By the way, they never report the crowd on January 6th. You know, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, you know, they did you know they destroyed all of the information, all of the evidence, everything deleted and destroyed all of it, all of it because of lots of things like Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people, soldiers, National Guard, so whatever they want. They turned it down. Of course, Haley was not even in office on January 6th. Trump apparently confused her with Nancy Pelosi, who was never in charge of Capitol security. And the former president was, of course, glossing over his actions on January 6th when he egged on his supporters to fight like hell and then watch the attack on the Capitol unfold on TV. Despite his bizarre blunder, Trump is touting his intellectual prowess, bragging that he aced a cognitive assessment. Haley was quick to pounce on his mental misstep. I'm not saying anything derogatory, but when you're dealing with the pressures of a presidency, we can't have someone else that we question whether they're mentally fit to do this. Haley is also sharpening her criticism of Trump's blatant lies and preposterous claims, including this one this week from Trump, uh, that presidents must have total immunity from prosecution, even in events that, quote, cross the line. Do you get just total freedom to do whatever you want? No, that's never the way it was intended to be. There needs to be accountability. No one is above the law. And I've seen the commercials you've seen. And let me tell you, everything Donald Trump's put up there is a lie. And if you have to lie to win, you don't deserve to win. Though Haley is within striking distance, recent polls favor Trump. A Trump win in New Hampshire could be a knockout punch for the rest of the GOP field. That's despite January 6th, despite his lies and incendiary rhetoric, despite the racist dog whistles, despite his mental missteps, all of which his party is brushing aside as they increasingly fall in line behind the former president. CNN is on the ground across New Hampshire in the final push to the primaries. Elena Treen is following the Trump campaign. Kylie Atwood is with Team Haley. And Steve Contorno has the latest from the Ron DeSantis campaign and, and some news on the DeSantis campaign uh, in just a few moments. But let's start first with Elena Treen. Uh, she is with the Trump campaign in Manchester. Elena, what's the latest? Yeah, well, Jim, uh, Trump is really making a key argument to his supporters this weekend, and we're going to hear that tonight as well, which is uh, Tuesday means a lot. Margins matter, and we need everyone to get out the vote. One thing that he said last night uh, at a rally in Concord, New Hampshire, uh, was really warning voters not to get complacent, a message we heard him deliver many times in Iowa as well. Um, but also, he argued that he thinks that if he can have a big win in New Hampshire, it could effectively force his rivals out of the race and end the primary early. And he said as much. Um, and I know from my conversations with Donald Trump's campaign and his advisors, they do believe that. They believe that if he can have a really strong showing here in the Granite State, uh, that maybe he can really lock up the no GOP nomination early. Now, um, another big thing that we've been hearing from Trump is him escalating his attacks on Nikki Haley. Really, um, they've become pretty nasty at this stage in the primary. Last night, uh, he argued that she is not fit for office. She's not tough enough for office and also threw cold water on the idea that he could potentially pick her as a running mate. Take a listen. A woman that I know very well, a woman that is not capable of doing this job, I know her very well. She's not tough enough, she's not smart enough, and she wasn't respected enough. She cannot do this job. Now, Jim, I can tell you that he's going to continue escalating his attacks on Haley tonight. We actually received um, a memo or really a packet of papers from the Trump campaign while waiting for him to come on stage just now, um, laying out a series of their attacks on Haley as well, hitting her on immigration, on Social Security, all things I think you can expect to hear from his speech in just a couple of moments. Uh, and Elena, Donald Trump made a pretty uh, major gaffe last night, appearing to confuse Nikki Haley with Nancy Pelosi while talking about January 6th. Has the uh, campaign, Trump campaign, offered any response to that? They have. I mean, well, it wasn't an official Trump campaign response, but we did hear from one of Trump's senior campaign advisors, Chris Lasavita. He posted um, on X today, he wrote, quote, 
Nancy dot 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 Nikki. It's a distinction without a difference. So really his campaign is trying to kind of dismiss that Trump made a mistake last night, that he had a misstep. Clearly, though, um, I think, you know, I was there. I was watching him. It did seem like a major gaffe, confusing uh, Nancy Pelosi with Nikki Haley. And look, I mean, for Nikki Haley's part, she pushed back very firmly on this as well and argued that uh, maybe this is a question of whether Donald Trump is mentally fit. And so um, I think we're going to stay tuned to see if we hear more of some of those missteps tonight while he's on stage, Jim. All right. Yeah, sounds like cleanup on aisle six uh, for the Trump campaign. All right, Elena Treen, thank you very much. Uh, now to our Kylie Atwood with the Nikki Haley campaign in uh, Keene, New Hampshire. Hi, uh, Kylie, what's the uh, Haley campaign doing right now? What are they saying? Yeah, well, listen, Nikki Haley has been barnstorming the state over the course of the entire day. This will be her fifth event of the day, and she's really just talking to voters, making her pitch over and over again. But as you said, as she does that, she is cranking up her critiques of former President Trump. Of course, as you mentioned, questioning his mental fitness, which is something that she has, you know, done in the past, but not in such a pronounced way, as she did earlier today, uh, pointing out that gaffe that he made last night in his campaign rally. And she's also going after him, being critical of the ads that New Hampshire folks are seeing on TV, hitting her from the former president. Listen to what she said on that. And I've seen the commercials you've seen. And let me tell you, everything Donald Trump's put up there is a lie. And if you have to lie to win, you don't deserve to win. He says, I raised the gas tax in South Carolina. I never raised the gas tax in South Carolina. But you know what he did? He proposed all of us having to pay a 25 cent gas tax hike when he was president in 2018. Now, she also went on to defend herself when it comes to her proposal for Social Security reform, saying that she isn't proposing to change Social Security for people who are already receiving it, but to change the program for people who are entering the program early on in their 20s. Now, Nikki Haley is also celebrating her birthday on the campaign trail today, which I think is worth noting out. And she told uh, voters earlier that she'd like to receive her birthday presents in the form of votes on Tuesday. All right. Uh, yeah, big upset would be a huge uh, birthday gift. Uh, all right. Uh, Kylie Atwood with the Nikki Haley campaign. Thank you so much.